I don't watch a lot of TV. I don't even have an aerial plugged in in my house at the moment, and I just don't have that much interest in it. I mostly watch a lot of YouTube, and like the rest of the planet and the rest of the platform, I've noticed that in the last few years, the late night genre has kind of taken over the platform. Clips of late night shows kind of ooze from every single area of YouTube. There isn't a YouTube recommendations box that isn't complete with the clip from Jimmy Fallon or Conan. I don't have a problem with this, to be clear, but I do have a confession. I'm kind of obsessed with this one clip of a late night show. So there's this one video that I can't stop watching and I have to tell someone about it and I thought the best way to do that was to yell it into the void of the internet and hope someone understands. It's a clip of Jimmy Fallon doing The Tonight Show. Jimmy, as you might be aware, has become somewhat infamous for his fake laugh and just generally trying his best to love everyone and everything. Yes, and who is it yes. now? Is you and- It's myself, Jason Statham, uh, the second sexiest man alive, Idris Elba. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> the second, yeah. Yes. Hello, I'm the first, yeah. But the guy does his job with a smile and seems to, for the most part, mean what he says. He's no Craig Ferguson, but he's by no means the worst of the late night genre either. To be crystal clear, I'm not blaming Jimmy Fallon for a lack of authenticity in the late night market, it kind of comes with the territory. It's an institution where out of touch famous people talk to a comedian and try and sell whatever product or film or album it is that they're currently involved in. So a lack of authenticity is kind of the point. Audience members are told when to clap and laugh, and you watch it at home and you think because they're clapping and laughing that it's a great show and it's really funny. So you book tickets and you go and the prompters tell you when to clap and laugh and someone at home thinks it's a great show so they book tickets. And so on. The cycle continues. People go to see whatever film it is they're plugging or buy whatever merchandise or album or whatever it is and everyone generally has a good time. Mostly. It's the epitome of America, but there is this one clip that I want to talk about. This one clip that keeps me up at night that I have to tell you about. It's this weird, single, raw, emotional moment from Jimmy Fallon that I can't get over. So let me set up the clip for you and then we'll talk about why it's important. On the 13th of November 2017, Taylor Swift was asked to perform on the Jimmy Fallon show as the musical guest at the last minute. Performing New Year's Day off her new album, Reputation, please welcome Taylor Swift. She was asked as she was already in town in New York for SNL, and it was sort of a last minute thing from the producers. Swift was booked as a way for the producers and staff to say thank you and to acknowledge the life of Gloria Fallon, Jimmy's mother, who passed away the prior week. You know, my mother Gloria uh, passed away recently and I canceled our shows last week to be with my family and make arrangements. She was the best audience. She was the one I was always trying to make laugh. And she was such- Fallon opened with an emotional monologue about his mother and why he'd taken the week off, but largely the show just proceeded as normal. There was nothing particularly out of the ordinary about it. Until Swift comes on to perform her tune, New Year's Day. Performing New Year's Day off her new album, Reputation, please welcome Taylor Swift. New Year's Day is the 15th and final track from her most recent record at that time, Reputation. Along with track 14, New Year's Day forms a strange, earnest dovetail to what is quite a commercial poppy album. The two songs are the most reminiscent of Taylor's earlier work, and it's no coincidence she decided to play that particular song for Jimmy's mother. New Year's Day is a simple track describing the mundane act of the day after New Year's Eve where you pick up bottles and clean up, but you do it with someone that you love and ultimately after the party and the glitter and the glamour, you're left doing something with someone you care about. It's a song about love with a simple emotional core that describes a moment that a lot of people can relate to. Swift plays the song in honor of Gloria and, well, this happens. To you. 
Taylor Swift! This moment makes my heart ache every single time I see it. It's a beat of genuine, pure sincerity and emotion from Jimmy Fallon, a man who's paid every night to care and love everything, always. There's something weirdly poetic about it too, being shared with Taylor Swift, a musician who spent the previous year being ridiculed in the media just as her album came out. She followed a handful of terrible advice from a bunch of people that didn't mean her well, and she became disliked by pretty much the entire of Hollywood and had to deal with the fallout of that. For her to perform the final track from Reputation, the album which was a response to that criticism, seems fitting. The arrangement itself feels awkward and somehow rushed and weirdly genuine for that reason. There's some slight mistakes, but it kind of works. Say what you will about Swift and the way she's changed the music industry, and say what you will about Jimmy and his continual selling of fake stuff in Hollywood. I don't think anyone can deny that moments like this are real. <laughs> These are two people who make things that people consume for a living coming together in a moment of vulnerability, and it just happens to be on TV. The show and the artifice fade away, and you're left for a brief moment, just very briefly, with something real. And if that isn't art, I don't know what is. Or this was just an excuse to talk about Taylor Swift for five minutes. It can be both. My mom would walk us to the store, me and my sister, and she, we would hold hands, you know, and she would squeeze my hand three times and say, I love you, and I would squeeze back, I love you too. And last week I was in the hospital, I her side and I grabbed her hand and I squeezed, I love you. And I just knew we were in trouble, you know. But uh, I feel so grateful to be able to do this every single night, and I'm very appreciative of all the support from all of you that my family received over the past week. We're going to continue to work really hard to bring some light and some laughter into the world. Thank you for watching. Thank you for helping me and my family recover from this loss. Mom, I'll never stop trying to make you laugh. I love you. Love you. More to <laughs>